Also tonight, New Mexico's congressional delegation is not giving up the fight against a troubled migrant detention center here in our state. Yeah, we have told you about the Torrance County detention facility many times and the many unsettling allegations against it. And we've also told you plenty of times about our elected leaders efforts to try to step in there. Griffin Rushton spoke with Congresswoman Melanie Stansbury today about the latest attempt to really get the feds attention, Griffin. Yeah, that's really what they're trying to do here. Congresswoman Stansbury, along with 49 other representatives, sent a letter to Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas demanding to know why several migrant detention facilities, including the Torrance County facility, are still open, even though ICE itself has recommended they be shut down. Now, as we mentioned, the Torrance County facility is facing a mountain of allegations, everything from racist and inhumane treatment of asylum seekers detained there to unsanitary living conditions and a lack of medical services. Federal inspectors recommended closing the privately owned and operated facility twice in 2022. The same year, a 23-year-old Brazilian man took his own life inside the facility. Migrant rights attorneys often describe the conditions as prison-like and are quick to mention the asylum seekers detained there are not facing charges. Stansbury says the facility is so poorly managed, even ICE wanted out at one point. And why ICE seems to be continuing these contracts is because they are unwilling to look at other housing options. But we should not be using county jails to house immigrants who are seeking a better life in this country. Congresswoman Stansbury says she has not heard back from Secretary Mayorkas yet, and that's despite Senator Martin Heinrich securing a verbal commitment from him to look into the Torrance County facility. Human rights issues aside, Stansbury's letter also highlights the nearly $13 million in taxpayer money used to pay the private company running the facility. We're spending hundreds of millions of dollars a year essentially to make private for-profit prisons rich by housing immigrant detainees. And, uh, you know, here in Torrance County, here in New Mexico, I am sure there are many other nonprofit organizations and others that could provide those services instead of exporting those profits to a private jail company based out of another state. Now, it's worth noting state lawmakers attempted to step in this year with a bill blocking local governments like Torrance County from entering federal migrant detention contracts. That bill narrowly died in the Senate. Stansbury suggested it's really up to the Biden administration at this point to step in. She and other supporters say they would like to see an end to all private migrant detention operations nationwide. Back to you.